tomorrow we will be finishing up the plumbing and um, putting up that is insulation over there right there is insulation so we'll be putting up insulation in the kitchen and putting up drywall in the kitchen and in the bathroom so that we can get ready to actually like make this feel more like a, you know a place where people live <laughs> a place where people live but yeah it's it's definitely something So tonight is our very first night spending the night in our new house as we do some renovation. And let's just look at what we've gotten done so far. Um, we put a new toilet, new toilet. And I just came in and ran the vacuum cleaner because I ran the vacuum cleaner because um, it was just really dusty. Let's go in here. It's gonna be like really dark for a second, but I'm gonna turn the light on and it won't be. Okay, so in here, I feel like you can see a major difference in here because I vacuumed out all in between the walls and yeah, and it's still pretty dusty like in most of the house. This is what will soon be our master bedroom, but for now we have erected a tent so that we can sleep comfortably and not have to worry about what might be inside the house. So far, I haven't really seen any like bugs or anything like that, like no rodents or critters in the house, but the tent definitely helps me to sleep uh, a lot more comfortably just knowing that if there is anything inside the house it cannot get in the tent all right so i've been working two days straight and as you all know working in here sleeping in here it's more like camping so i really just wanted to add to this vlog to give some really great news excellent news is that i realized all the windows I thought were broken are actually just open. Like, how dumb am I? Like, all the windows that I thought were broken were actually open. So I just went through the house and closed all the windows and realized there's really only one broken window. That's this one over here. I don't know if you can, like, see that. This is the window that was broken. So what we did was replace that with a window from the closet since there would be no windows in the closet. So I'm still sleeping in a tent, but I cannot tell you how good it feels to actually be on a blown up air mattress <laughs> because I've been sleeping on very, very hard old hard wood floors very hard um i made a little pallet with some underlayment and my little deflated air mattress but man like nothing beats not beat <laughs> nothing beats not sleeping on the floor for real <laughs> so what you see behind me is the extremely time consuming patchwork that I have to do on this drywall. This, honestly, the rest of it is not as bad as this first wall. We're calling that my practice wall. Man, that's freaking painful. Like, <laughs> the white is what has dried because literally I'm on my third day of patching up drywall with spackle. <sighs> and this. finally, we are in the master bedroom putting up drywall so as you can see behind me we have a whole situation where drywall is needed and so far I have two pieces up that one long piece going across and then that little short piece on the side like right there <laughs> and it's going really good so far um let's go to the other side I'll show you like what it looked like 
before I started putting up the drywall. So this is the other side that also needs drywall. And obviously we're not covering up the whole wall. We do have doorways on both sides of the fireplace. So we're really just covering like all the studs and we're gonna, you know, just make our doorways look a little more finished. See, that's a doorway over there. And then we have a doorway over there, but yeah. So I will see you guys in part three. Uh, uh. <laughs> if you haven't already, check out part one and part two. And if you're wondering how we got this gorgeous little diamond in the rough, you can watch my video on how to buy a house cash in 14 days. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. It will be coming very soon. I'm so excited.